Captain Dennis Wood of British Airways European Division is going through his pre-flight checks at Edinburgh Airport. There's every reason to suppose that the flight that follows will be routine in every way, at least let's hope so. But last summer, Captain Wood and his crew had a most non-routine experience as he flew a load of holidaymakers to Portugal on board a Trident. From our Edinburgh studio this morning, he told me what happened. We were proceeding down to uh, Faro in southern Portugal at 29,000 feet. Uh, eight o'clock in the evening it was, and daylight. Uh, the ground was visibly uh, clear, and uh, there was no cloud at all. The sun was low on the horizon in the west, and Lisbon Air Traffic Control called us and said that they had a report of a UFO in the area, and could we confirm? And we looked out of the uh, windows uh, on the right-hand side, looking toward the west, and there was this very large, bright, uh, round object, incredibly bright, uh, white light, emitting its own light, uh, sitting there over the sea. Did it have any apparent motion? No, it was stationary. And have you any idea how far away from you it was or how big it was? No, no, no way of knowing that, in fact, at all. And who saw this from your flight deck? Well, we all saw it straight away, and a TriStar uh, that, in fact, was above us at 33,000 feet, uh, they saw it as well. Um, I replied uh, to Lisbon Air Traffic Control that we had this uh, object in sight, and they asked me what... Uh, I thought it was, and I said, I don't know what it is, but I'll tell you what it's not. It's not a balloon, it's not a star, it's not a satellite, and you know, all, all the usual things, you see. And then what happened? Uh, well, then I, I said, I think this is worthy of telling the passengers that we've got something rather strange sitting on the starboard side of the airplane, so I made a cabin address to the passengers, and um, we had about 80 passengers, and I guess at least half of them uh, saw this object. And then we continued to look, and as we looked, a couple of other objects appeared, sort of just appeared from nowhere. In fact, brown, long, cigar-shaped objects appeared to the right of this very bright object and just below it. Did anybody take any photographs? No, you? nobody. We don't tend to carry cameras in the flight deck for uh, c certain reasons, and as far as I know, nobody had a camera down the back either. What a shame. <laughs> That's the way it goes. <laughs> anyway, I gather you, you came back the same evening. Yes, indeed. About two hours later, we were passing the same spot. And by well, this time it was dark, so presumably there wasn't much to be seen. Was the bright light still there? No, the bright light had gone, but uh, as we approached the area, I thought I'll turn the radar on, and uh, we were climbing up through as uh, about 28,000 feet, going to 31,000 feet, and I tilted the radar up so there was no way that we were going to get any uh, returns from the ground. And sure enough, at 20 miles, we had two long objects appear on the radar, very clear. These objects would have been, in my view, somewhere around three or 400 yards in length. They were very big. Did you get a great deal of ridicule? I ask that because it seems to me that, in a sense, this is a very brave thing to do, to, to let it all come out, because there is the danger of being ridiculed. Well, I think, you see, if I'd have been on my own, I would have been probably very reluctant indeed. In fact, I certainly wouldn't have said anything about it, you know. But because so many people saw these objects, and the pilots I've spoken to have been very fair. They've known me for many years, most of them, and they know I don't see things. And my sole purpose, really, would be to find somebody who perhaps could explain it. I've spoken to a number of people, and they've suggested the usual things, like balloons, certain kinds of cloud formation, satellites, and so on. But, you know, um, we've been flying a long time, and it was none of these things. So I'd be very happy if somebody could explain it to me. Captain Dennis Wood of British Airways.